So if you're struggling to keep your fingers close to the fret, this exercise is specifically for you. I'm gonna play through the exercise and show you exactly what I'm talking about and what I mean by that. So here we go. One, two, three, four. So as you guys can see, that was a pretty difficult sounding exercise, but it's really just a triadic exercise that I'm playing three notes on root position, first position or first inversion and second inversion. I'm in the key of A major, so let me play it slow for you guys. So that's the first part of the exercise. And the reason why I say this is for people that struggle with keeping their fingers close to the fretboard and not like flailing your fingers outwards is because you almost have to keep your fingers close to the fretboard because you're playing so many notes consecutively together and also with the same finger. Like even there I'm playing the E and the A with the same exact finger so I have to keep my fingers close to the fret in order to get to the next note. So playing something fluidly like this will help you to be able to maintain that finger control because you never know when the next note is going to come up or it's very sporadic. So you have to be conscious of where you are on the fretboard. And this happens a lot. It happens throughout. So even on the first inversion, you have the C sharp E, A, and then the E, A, C sharp. So you're keeping your, your middle finger right on E and A almost the whole entire time. So you can't lift up maybe for maybe a, a, a microsecond, not even a, I don't even know what the, the term is called, but <laughs> you can't lift up for long at all because you have to, you have to get to that note as soon as you can because it's coming up next, right? So let's go through the notes. I'm gonna go through the notes very slowly so you guys can understand exactly what's going on. If you don't know what inversions are, there's tons of lessons that we've gone over that we've done talking about inversions. Not only can you play inversions as chords, but you can play inversions as separate notes. So that's all we're doing right here. We're playing, we're playing inversions. Those were as chords, but we're playing them. So same exact idea, just breaking up the notes. At the end of this exercise, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the whole entire thing, but at the end, I wanted to turn it around and make sure it landed on the one. So it's not necessarily a triad that I'm doing at the end to bring it around home or to bring it home. I'm playing the last note, which is the E, the octave of the E, B, major third, E, and then home. But anyway, in the key of A major, let's break this down a little bit further. So notes, so A, C sharp, E, A, next go round. We're gonna try to utilize every single finger that we played previously or that we used for each note. We're gonna try to stick with that same formation as far as fingering. D sharp, E, A, octave of the C sharp. The next one we have, we're keeping our middle finger right on the E, A, C sharp, and then the octave of E, which is the note that we started on, which is our second inversion, right? And then we go back down and we try to end the entire exercise. So E, octave, root note, major third, fifth, one. Okay, so this will be written out so you guys can actually see it visually and follow along uh, at your own pace. So same rules apply. I'm just changing a minor third to a, or a major third to a minor third. So we have B, B. Uh, sorry, I said the same thing twice. B, D, which is a minor third away from B. We got B, D, F sharp. Do, do, do. So still using that five. Do, do, do. Um, then the octave of B. Same concept. The next one, I'm going to start on the first inversion, which is going to be starting on D first. So D, F sharp, uh, B, uh, and then the octave of D, All right? So D, F sharp, B, D, there. Okay, so we got 10th fret, 9th fret, 9th fret, 7th fret. Got it? Next one, I'm going to do the same exact concept. So I'm going to start on F sharp. It's going to be my root note now. B, D, and then the octave of 
F sharp. In the same way back down, octave of F sharp, root, minor third, fifth, one. Go through this really slow. I don't expect you guys to get this on the first try. The fingering is very, very weird. It's gonna feel uncomfortable. And I want you to feel uncomfortable. And that's the only way that you grow. We talked about challenging yourselves uh, a couple weeks ago, just being able to challenge yourself with different exercises or different things you haven't played before. We use, we're using a melodic approach at the same time we're using a theoretical approach with a dexterity exercise. So it's not just mindless playing or mindless notes um, that doesn't make sense or that's not melodic at all, but we're actually using melody. We're using triads. We're using chords to be able to create this exercise. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.